Under the ADA, people with disabilities have the right to ride public transportation with their service animals. If a bus operator is unsure, then he or she can ask, is that a service animal? Can I ask you, is that a service animal? Yes, it is. Oh, okay, good, beautiful. Would you mind lowering the ramp for me, please? Oh yeah, sure, could you just step back a little bit because the ramp comes out a bit. Thank you. If the operator is still not sure, he or she can ask, what task does it perform for you? No other questions are allowed. Perfect. Come on, Fardo. How's your day going so far? Very good, thank you. Good, good. Operators have a schedule to keep, and if the animal is under control and that you've already asked that first question, our recommendation is just to let that person ride. Occasionally, a person may have more than one service animal, though this is not the norm. If the service animal is misbehaving or needs correction for any reason, talk to the handler directly and let them take care of that in the most appropriate way possible. Your dog's in the aisle. Can you have him go under the seat, please? Oh, sure thing. Sorry about that. Trouble okay. close? Most of the time, this fixes the problem. If the handler can't or won't make the necessary correction, then the operator can deny them a ride with the service animal until they are able to change that behavior and bring it back under control. Inappropriate behavior is barking, growling, lunging, sniffing, licking, trying to jump in someone's lap. The service animal should be right with the person and under their control and in their space on the bus. It is important to note that service animals are not required to wear a vest. Drivers cannot ask for identification that prove the animal is a service animal, and drivers cannot ask for a demonstration of the task the animal provides. Dedicated to Donna Smith, friend, colleague, and lifelong advocate, 1959 to 2022.